Hello, my name is Tyler Tootle and I am an Applications Engineer at AFL. As the leading manufacturer of optical ground wire, AFL has been providing solutions to the utility and communication industries since 1984. To meet customer-specific needs, AFL has designed and manufactured a variety of OPGW cable products that include Alumacore, Centricore, and strand of stainless like Hexacore cable designs. Today I'll cover the differences in the cable prepping procedures of stainless steel tube designs and plastic buffer tube designs. First, let's review the prepping procedure for cable design families that incorporate plastic buffer tubes as the fiber housing unit, like in Alumacore. The tools required for this procedure include a tape measure, a wire cutter, a marker, electrical tape, gloves, zip ties, and a pipe cutter. If using an AFL enclosure, you will also need a connector kit. Begin by marking the cable at the location that will be placed under the connector kit. Place a zip tie or electrical tape around the cable approximately two feet behind the mark. This secures the outer wires from unstraining during subsequent handling of the cable. Unstrand the outer wires from the free end past the cable mark and remove the outer wires. Starting at the ends of the outer wires and moving towards the free end, mark the aluminum pipe at the point that will be ring cut. Ring cut the aluminum pipe using a small pipe cutter. The score and flex action should be continued until the pipe succumbs to the gentle back and forth flexing of the pipe. Once the pipe separates, carefully remove it from the plastic buffer tube bundle, making sure not to compromise the buffer tube's bending radius. Place the buffer tubes inside the splice enclosure, ring cut the buffer tubes, and remove the excess. Now, I'll cover the prepping procedure for Centricore and Hexacore design families that use stainless steel tubing as the fiber housing unit. I'll use the same tools as before with the addition of a stainless steel tube straightener a stainless steel tube cutter, and a frication kit. First I'll prep the Centricore cable. Remove the outer wires and pipe in a similar fashion as before. Once inside the pipe, mark the stainless steel tube, place the shrink tubing from the AFL frication kit, and cut the stainless steel tube. There are two things to note here. First, practice scoring, flexing, and breaking a stainless steel tube with a piece of scrap cable. Practicing this procedure helps ensure that optical fibers are not damaged during the tube removal. When removing the tube, keep it in line with the clamped piece of cable to ensure that the fibers do not scrape against the ends of the tubes. Second, the shrink tubing over the stainless steel tube prevents the bare fiber from rubbing against the sharp edge of the stainless steel tube. The shrink tubing should be properly heated to allow the fibers to move to the center of the stainless steel tube. The shrink tubing will need to be heated around the end of the tube and the beginning section of the exposed fibers. Once the shrink tubing cools, the fiber will need to be placed into frication tubing to allow proper transitioning into an enclosure and adequate slack storage. Lastly, a zip tie should be placed around the portion of transition tubing that is over the stainless steel tube to better hold it in place. Each stainless steel tube within the cable will need its own frication kit. The kit consists of a transition tube, heat shrink tubing, identification markers, zip ties, and felt tape. Once fricated, the tubing will need to be routed into the enclosure, 
and the fibers will need to be differentiated by their string binders. For the last design family, hexacore or pentacore style, the cable prep process begins by removing the outer wire just like before. Once all outer layer and inner layer aluminum clad steel and aluminum alloy wires are removed, the stainless steel tubes will need to be straightened to ensure proper removal. If using an AFL tube straightener, loosen the rollers to allow the stainless steel tube to pass through easily. Insert the free end of one tube into one end of the tool between the rollers and out of the other end. Practice this procedure on a scrap length of tubing to get an idea of how tight the roller should be. Over tightening may crush the tubes and or damage the fibers. Once the rollers are tightened, use the handles to slide it towards the free end, thereby straightening the tube and making its removal easier. Slide the tool along the stainless steel tube back to the mark. Tighten the rollers together until all are contacting the tube. Then straighten the tube by pulling it through the rollers. Once straightened, repeat the same removal and fricating process as before. Be sure to practice scoring, flexing, and breaking the stainless steel tube on a scrap piece of cable. This video is intended as a quick reference guide to the detailed written procedures. For the detailed specific procedures, please review AFL's cable prepping instruction documentation. For any questions or to receive a copy of the instructions, feel free to contact AFL.